Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. So, we're gonna do a piercing tour. I'm gonna include every piercing that I've ever gotten, including obviously the ones that I currently still have, the ones that I recently got, pain level for me, obviously, um, everyone's different, but I'm gonna let you guys know what it was, again, for me and my experience. Of getting them done so yeah without further ado let's get into we'll, it we'll start in like chronological order i guess obviously very first one was my lobes which i think most of us got done when we were babies i got mine done when i was a baby now as you guys know or as you can see they're currently at an inch i actually started stretching i want to say in 10th grade now i haven't actively been stretching from like, as I said, 10th grade when I was like 15 to now. I stopped for a while when I was, when I got to three fourths, was it? Yeah, three fourths. Once I got to three fourths, I stopped stretching. I stopped stretching for a long time. I stayed at three fourths for about six, seven years, like a while. Then I got, if you guys haven't seen the video, I'll probably put it up here or I'll link it down below. But Stretch It Body Jewelry contacted me and it was almost like, the universe was telling me because I was already thinking of stretching up after again not stretching for like six seven years but they contacted me and so again I view that as like a sign I took that opportunity obviously so thank you again stretch it body jewelry if you're watching they're probably not I don't know but yeah if they are I'm super grateful for them because they sent me a whole ear stretching kit it's actually really good so if you guys want it I have a coupon code you guys can check it out so the lobes got done when I was obviously a baby. Don't know how young of a baby I was, but now they're currently an inch. Next ones I got were my, um, they're like looped onto each other, but was my second lobes. So I'll show you guys my lobes. Maybe you don't see, but I'll try to zoom in. So my lobes have kind of like a ridge. And when I got it pierced, by the way, I got it done at Claire's. Y'all already know the issue with Claire's, but I got them done there. No shade to Claire's, but yeah. So I got these done there despite them being pierced with a gun. It wasn't a bad healing process. So yeah, I got both of those done at the same time, obviously. The ones right behind it, I got these and then I got my, I guess, lower helix both on the same side. By the way, I'm not gonna show both ears because as you guys can see, every piercing on both ear is identical. Like I like the whole symmetry thing. So if I show you this ear, just know that it's the same exact thing on the other ear too. Third and fourths, which are my high lobes, cause this technically is considered the low because it's still through the soft tissue, it's not through the cartilage, but my helix obviously is. Both of those, again, I got done with guns. But mind you, I got them done when I was young. Back then, I didn't know shit about proper piercing procedure. Like, I didn't know anything about it. So, um, obviously, as I got older, I learned and, you know, things got better. Kind of. That's for another day. Anyway, so I got those both done, again, with a gun. The place I got it done, sketch as fuck. Like, don't go to a basement level jewelry kiosk in a fucking mini mall. Like, don't do it to yourself. But I did. Take it as I did it so that you don't have to go through that. So yeah, that's where I got those two done. I was about 14 years old. And obviously at that age, I didn't have no fucking money. What little birthday money I did have, I wanted more ear piercing. So I just went to wherever I knew I could get them. For dirt cheap again don't don't fucking do that <laughs> but you know we live and we learn and we're young and we do dumb shit sometimes so yeah but it's all good I still have them that's not to say that the healing process was smooth by no means was it smooth honestly my lower helix was the worst so let me put this in perspective your ear being shattered by a blunt force thing as a gun, your cartilage, not just any part of your ear, your cartilage. Yeah, don't do that. Healing was a nightmare, but I fucking managed to do it <laughs> at 14. I just really wanted more ear piercing, so I just, I just went for it. Did that, they finally healed. And I've heard this obviously before too, helix piercings can be finicky. Like this one, finicky as fuck, but it's healed. I don't know, right now, knock on wood, 
my guitar was right there so oh and also i tried to let them close up but here's the thing after a piercing is fully healed meaning the fistula which is the canal that the piercing heals around the jewelry once that's healed from my own experience it never closes up like that it's there forever for me personally that's not a bad thing because i hadn't worn jewelry in these lower helix piercings for a good five years and then like a few months ago i said you know what let me try to put something in it because that's just how i am sometimes like i'll try to just put a piece of jewelry through it even after i haven't had anything in it for years just to see and so i did it with these and lo and behold as i said fistula is still there and it was it went through it was a tight fit obviously i hadn't had anything in it for like five plus years but i managed to get something in it it was a very small like you know just a standard i think maybe like 20 gauge earrings because it was so tight and then now i have just a little it's super plain but i have a 16 gauge next i got I want to say my tragus it's either my tragus or my industrials which again i have both they're just different jewelry so on this side i have like a little part in that one so my tragus was not bad um i got the i got those done when i was i want to say sorry y'all so yeah my tragus i got done when I was 16, I want to say. Most of my ear piercings I got done, like in high school. So they weren't bad. Um, I got them done at a piercing shop or a tattoo shop. Nothing super eventful. Oh, actually, yeah. So this ear, this ear she did fine. I don't know if she was an apprentice, which is totally fine. I mean, I don't mind getting pierced by an apprentice. Actually, I think I got a discount because she was an apprentice. She pierced this ear fine. Um, she got them straight, like they're straight, they're, you know, they're even on both sides and everything like that. But she had a little bit of trouble getting the needle all the way through this ear. I guess she didn't, she wasn't putting enough pressure. This ear was fine. Wasn't, I didn't even feel the pain in this one. She got it right through. But when she got to this ear, I, I don't know what happened, but she couldn't get the needle through. She said that, I don't know, but she said that my cartilage was super thick on this side. I don't know if that's really the case but we're all new at something at some point and then I, she had to call one of um i guess the senior piercer and he pushed it and got it through and that hurt obviously because it was taking forever and she was just tugging and tugging and tugging like pushing 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 but it wasn't going through so that's the only reason why this ear hurt this ear was a breeze honestly if this ear would have went as smooth as this ear I, it probably wouldn't have hurt as much as it did but it did because she had that trouble but other than that it was fine healing also fine healing is only i feel two things healing is as good as one the jewelry the placement how it was pierced uh, now that i think about it there's a few different factors and then also your body next was my industrials which i got them both done at the same time by the way everything that i got done symmetrically as i told you guys before i got them done at the same time so i didn't get like one side and then come back and then got the other side no i got both sides at the same time so the same with my industrials got both of them done at the same time i think i was about 17 yeah because i waited like a year between my tragus healing and then i got these healing wasn't bad it sucked to sleep it sucked to sleep as you can imagine um yeah you're basically pierced four times that sucked it didn't suck to get it let me clarify it didn't suck to get it it was just it just was fucking annoying like i had to sleep like this i had to barely like you know what i mean like i could i couldn't really lay on either side because i got them both done at the same time but my mentality then and still now is just if you want it just fucking do it just go through with it do it whatever i wanted done i just got it and that was it so that's what i did with both of them and then also i figured i want them both pierced anyway so why not just do it all at once get all the healing done at once and just be done with it so that was my mentality after the industrials i got my eyebrow which y'all can yeah there we go you can still see the scars in it if i wash like my concealer off you really could see it but along with all the rest of my hyperpigmentation but uh yeah no i don't wear full face so whatever <laughs> yeah so that's where my eyebrow was and i actually considered getting it re-pierced like 
recently or not getting it but doing it myself because y'all know now like I've been doing my own piercings maybe you don't maybe you do I don't know if you've watched my last videos or my previous videos you you'll know but anyway so I got that done when I was I think also 17. Healing was fine. Honestly, the reason why I think I feel now that I probably want it back or I'd want to try it again is I feel like I didn't really give it a chance. I don't even think I kept it a full year. I think I kept it for maybe eight, nine months or something like that. And then I took it out. It had nothing to do with like rejection or anything like that because I know eyebrows sometimes can reject. It was nothing like that. Like it was healing fine. But um, yeah, so I had that. What next? My septum. I got my septum way before everybody and their mama had it. <laughs> so now that literally everybody has their septum pierced or almost everybody. It's so popularized now is what I'm trying to say. But I, I got it done initially when I was I think about 18 or 19. Back then, as I said, it wasn't as popular as it is now and i'm not trying to come across as like oh yeah i got it before everybody else did or whatever no it's just that was the fact like i got it done at a time that it was not popular um but i'm the type of person that if i like something i'm just gonna fucking get it like and if i think about it for a while because i do tend to be an overthinker but if i want something and i know i want it it's done i'm just gonna get it and then i decided to take it out i remember i got like a really it wasn't a bad cold it was just an annoying cold and i just kept blowing 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 my nose and it just got to a point where it was just so irritated from me blowing my nose i just said you know what that's it. I'm done with it. <laughs> like it got to that point. And so I just took it out. So that was the end of that. Also that I got done at a professional too. I got pretty much all of my piercings done with the exception of, as I said, my lobes and my lower helix, which I got done with guns, which not professional, obviously. But everything was at a tattoo shop by a professional piercer. And then I'll get to the latter ones that I started doing on myself. That was 2009 haven't wanted it back since and I still don't even though now as I said it's really popular but I think that's why I don't want it now for sure yeah so septum's gone it's been gone for years now and I don't really think about it let's see uh I'm looking in the viewfinder so I could see my face like I remember which ones oh my right nostril I got that done when I was 18 yeah, I would think I was like 18 when I got that done. Got that done by a professional also. Wasn't bad. Healing. I got those like little piercing bumps, which sometimes that tends to happen. Don't know why, but it happened to me a couple of times. Like it would come, then it would go away. It would come back again, then it would go away again. Then it would come, And then there was a point where it was just like, and then it finally just like completely chilled the fuck out, basically. And it's been good ever since it's totally healed there's no no piercing bumps no none of that so that's done and then oh my nipples which i no longer have but i'm getting them redone i got my nipples done when i was 19 i believe either 19 or 20 something like that those never really healed i got them done like at an angle so they were like facing that way and the piercer at the time she was so cool it was her idea and she said, oh, it would be cool to get them done, like, facing like that. Like, kind of like, you know? And I was down. I was like, yeah, like, let's do it. So she did them. And the right one, I don't remember hurting nearly as bad as the left one. I mean, I felt it, obviously. But it didn't hurt as much as the left side is what I'm trying to say. And so, I don't know. I guess my pain tolerance kind of wore off <laughs> or my pain tolerance dropped I should say after the right side because she did the right nipple first and then she did the left but now that I think about it I'd probably just get them horizontally only because I have scar tissue in that direction so I'm kind of just gonna go in a different direction basically when I do repair them. I thought about doing it myself but I was like eh, they're nipples so maybe I'll get that done by a professional but we'll see. Next and I almost forgot about it but I got my belly button pierced when I was 16. My mom made me take it out just to take me to get it again when I was 16. I'm low-key still not tight about it but I was just like damn why didn't you just let me keep it because when I got it done initially it was like perfectly dead center but she took me to get it at a different place and it it was it's kind of crooked like not crooked as in slanted but it's like a little over like it's not 
dead center to my belly as it was the first time so and now we're gonna get into the ones that i did myself so my left nostril which i love nobody's face is perfect by the way obviously but like i got a dead center and y'all can't see because this is a hoop so it looks kind of further down than this but if i were to put two studs i got it right on the money i feel like um in terms of symmetry to the other one again you guys can't really see it because um i have a hoop and this one's a stud so it's not gonna look even because this is just way bigger so this one super smooth ironically the one that i did myself healed way better and smoothly than my right side that i got done professionally obviously you want to go to a professional but I'm just saying from my experience, ironically, it just happened to be that my left nostril that I pierced myself, have a video on that. If you guys want to check it out, I'll probably put it up here. I always use pre-sterilized tri-bevel needles, gloves, obviously, and I sanitize everything as best I can. Obviously, it's not a piercing environment, but it's just me piercing myself. So anyway, all that to say, this one healed, it just healed better than my right side. I got zero piercing bumps, like at all. I pierced my left side when I was 25. So it's been also almost 10 years since I had this. But anyway, that was the very first piercing that I ever did on myself. And then after that, I have pierced other people. I pierced my husband's nostril, which that came out perfectly. And then I did my mother-in-law's helix. She took it out. I guess she just didn't want it anymore or wanted to deal with the healing, whatever. But I did hers. Damn, my battery's gonna die. So let me try to hurry this up. And then the most recent one, which y'all can see is still kind of bloody. I don't know if y'all can see that. The lighting in here is not the best. I'm just using my ring light because it's night. But yeah. And the bar is super long because I actually re-pierced it. So the video that I just put up recently of me piercing it, just titled Piercing My Central Librette or Librae, however you want to pronounce it, Tomato Tomato. If y'all haven't seen that video, that was the original when I originally pierced it. Long story short, I pierced that back in October, like early October. I ended up taking it out like a week later. One, I didn't like the jewelry. And obviously for a fresh piercing, you want to kind of be content with your starter jewelry. It wasn't the fact that it was too short or anything like that. It was long enough. It was 12 millimeters. So was this one. I didn't like the ball, but most importantly, I didn't like the angle in which I pierced it. I pierced it exactly where I wanted it on the outside. And I used the same marker for this time around but on the inside i pierced it too much like upward at an angle like that you know and you see like the curve where your teeth or where your gums meet your teeth it kept like scraping that exact part basically at an angle to where it was constantly rubbing like the very edge of the gum where it meets the teeth and Ugh, I just couldn't. I knew that was going to be a problem. So I was just like, you know what? Before it becomes a problem, let me take it out, let it close up. And I told myself, oh, I don't want the piercing. I don't need it. I just, you know, I wanted it. But then I tried to tell myself, oh, you know what? Maybe it's, maybe I should, I just shouldn't get it or whatever. Knowing in the back of my mind, I like it. Like I want it. I just didn't like the angle in which it was pierced. And side note, it's not just because I pierced it myself because not for nothing, I've actually gotten piercings done by professionals that I hated the angle and I took it out. Actually, now that we're on the topic, that happened with my left nostril. I actually got that done first, like before the right side. Got that done. I literally took it out the first day. Like he pierced it way too low and it just looked weird. Like it just, it just looked, I hated it. So I took it out. So anyway, I just didn't like the angle in which I pierced it. It was, it wasn't comfortable at all. It constantly rubbed on my gums and I didn't want those kind of problems, you know, with, with my teeth. So took it out, let it close up completely. And then I re, I just re-pierced it two days ago, actually. Yeah, today is day two. Hence the little crusties. And if y'all see like, it's kind of red, a little dried up blood I'm gonna obviously go clean it again after this i only clean it like two to three times a day i've already cleaned it twice today so i'm gonna clean it one last time before i go to bed and that's gonna do that but yeah it's been closed from the first time i pierced it two months so it's it was completely healed and then i went in again and i love where i placed it this time again where it was pierced from the outside use that same hole but i just entered at a different angle so instead of going upward like i did last time unintentionally i angled the needle more like straight 
away, you know? And so it sits way, way, way more comfortably. That made it so that the inside, like the flat back part of the jewelry sits below my gum line. So like right now, I can still kind of feel it when I talk, but that's because I have like a long ass 12 millimeter in because obviously it's new, it's still like swollen a little bit, which y'all can't really tell because my lips are like, I've always had these same size lips anyway. So the fact that it swole up a little bit and also because I have like this really dark lipstick, so you probably can't even tell. But um, yeah, it is swollen a little bit. The swelling is going down, so that's all good. I guess I could show you guys what it looks like now. As you guys can see, there's like some dried up crusty, like dried up blood there. It's super fresh and it might look a little gross, but that's all a part of the healing. Um, yeah, so that's that. That's what it's looking like right now. Sometimes it feels like a little itchy around the piercing, but that's not out of the norm either. That's happened to a few of my other piercings as well. I know it definitely happened in my belly, but other than that, it feels, it feels fine. I just have to clean it, which I'm, about to go do. I just use mouthwash to like clean the inside obviously and I do that after I eat but obviously I'm not cleaning the outside like throughout the day non-stop because you don't want to do that. So yeah that's that. So now we're gonna get into pain. I'm not gonna include my lobes when I was a baby because I don't remember that. So lobes. My second and third lobes they healed like nothing. I guess on a scale of one to ten I don't know a three maybe. Again it was so long ago I was like 13 I don't really remember the pain like that so i'm gonna say it was like a two and a half three something my helix as i said that sucked it didn't suck so much to get it was just the healing so i guess we'll talk about the pain and the healing the pain to get it again that kind of still sucked too because it was done with a gun and it's through cartilage never a good idea but that was i would say a five six and that's just because it was done with a gun healing was kind of a nightmare on this side this the right side not so much but the left side yeah tragus as i said this side don't remember the pain this one she had a hard time so that one was, was a lot more painful than this side pain five six maybe six seven probably on this here because as i said she struggled a bit but industrials six obviously only because i got pierced in four different locations <laughs> on the same day at the same time so yeah that was about a six. Uh, my eyebrow, honestly, I don't remember the pain, but I think I would say it was about a five. Most of them, I'm gonna give like fives, but yeah. I think my eyebrow was like about a four or five. Oh, my first time getting my left nostril that I took out, as I said, I hated the placement. That was like a four. It wasn't too bad. Right nostril a few years later. Also, I would say a four, maybe even a three. My nostrils weren't bad at all for me. I've heard people who they say their nostrils straight like it just fucking sucked for me i think nostrils were really easy i mean i don't know even considering the fact that i have pretty thick nostril cartilage or whatever i don't know i don't think that has anything to do with it i just think it's a matter of your pain tolerance but for me personally i don't think nostrils were bad at all so yeah this side i'd give like a three out of ten left side also about the same maybe even a two like a two and a half three not bad at all neither of my nostrils were bad septum i think that was about a five five and a half six that was a little more sensitive than nostrils so that hit hurt a little bit more but it was nothing like oh my god like unbearable you know i completely forgot y'all <laughs> the one piercing i forgot that i did on uh, myself um my medusa or philtrum i don't know if y'all can see it maybe y'all can't because the light is so bright let me see yeah if i turn this way y'all could kind of see that little indent right there but yeah i pierced my philtrum did that a few years ago too uh i don't remember exactly but if y'all look back on my videos i'll probably link that below too or put it up here that one i did kind of on a whim honestly like i had only thought about it for a little bit and usually i think about piercings a little bit longer than that hence why i didn't have it for that long but piercing by far the easiest piercing easily a one one and a half out of ten not painful at all so that was that my tongue also not painful my tongue was a three 
out of 10. And all of my life, like when I was younger, I always used to say, oh, I would never get my, my tongue pierced because I felt like it was going to be so painful. Fast forward to years down the line and I ended up getting it. And it's just like, damn, that was nothing. <laughs> So yeah, like a legit three out of 10 for me. Nipples, nipples were up there. By far my most painful piercings. Those were about a eight. One hurt a little bit more than the other. My right nipple, a seven, and my left nipple, eight. So yeah. And then my belly, I would give that maybe a five because that wasn't horrible, but I definitely did feel it, but it was, it was doable. I mean, all of them are doable, but that wasn't terrible. Oh guys, I completely forgot. I used to have snake bites. Fuck, how did I forget to mention that? But yes, I got snake bites back when I was like 21, I got them. Those weren't bad either. The piercing was not bad. Those were like a two out of 10. Same with my labrette. So basically I had my side labrette first. Forgot to mention that too. And then I took that out. I had that for like a couple of months. Healed fine. I just didn't want it anymore. But I wanted snake bites and I could have just gotten it off of that one. But the reason why I didn't was because where that was pierced, I didn't like it enough to have my snake bites in that location on both sides, you know? And so I took that out, let that close up, and then I got snake bites when, as I said, I was like 21. I got the initial side labret when I was maybe about 20. So a year later, then got the snake bites. Um, and then I had the snake bites for not that long. I had them for like a year, like a little over a year, maybe like a year and a half. I don't know how I forgot those, but yeah. So yeah, I think that was it. If you guys like this video, want to see more videos like this, like just piercing, body mod type videos, y'all seem to like more of my lock stuff. Still going to be making those too, but I actually really enjoy doing stuff like this. I don't know why these videos don't get like, y'all don't seem to watch them as much, but I like making them. So if you guys like watching them, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you.